Something has gone awry with my protein oats this morning and I'm gonna show you and I'm just warning you that it does look like dog food. Can you see it? So I put it in the microwave first, plain, just the oats in the water. It's like quick cook, quick cook. It's quick cook oats and you know, you like a minute 30, kind of over overflowed spilled that's what there's some like crispy bits on the edge that's the spillage of the oats which already uh you know kind of sent me personally over the edge and then i put my my protein powder in there i mixed it up and it was a bit like slodgy or um it was like runny so i said okay let's put it back in the microwave for like 30 more seconds and then it did turn it looks like ground turkey and then with the Fiber One cereal in there for so that I can poop normal, that looks like dog food pellets, and then it looks like dry food mixed with wet food. I, I can't, there's no getting around it. But it tastes good. I just took a shower. It's like 7.30 or 8, I don't know what time. It's 8 o'clock. Went to the gym, did my pull day. Well, this is my living situation right now. T minus seven days until I moved to Illinois. And this is what my living room currently looks like. This is my sleeping situation. I have faced the couch towards the wall. So I have a little like ledge or wall for me to feel like I'm sort of tucked in to bed. And I got my pillow. I'm watching uh, Sophie Jane, cute, Australian f person on YouTube. That felt weird. And uh, yeah, this is where I sleep. This is where I've been sleeping for the last week or so. I really kept thinking about my last vlog and how responsive everybody was. Ugh. Full Metal Alchemist. To my whole spiel about feeling as if my vlogs need to have a point or they need to have something going on to entertain you. And everyone was like, we don't care, which is totally to be expected. I mean, I like watching vlogs where people are just doing nothing. Like, I just want to hang out with the people that I'm watching. I put them on and I queue up like every single vlog they've done and I just watch them all day. So I should just hold myself to that same standard. Palooza over here, am I right? I got my right hand tattooed by Aaron, who is a friend of mine, a tattoo artist up in Weaverville, North Carolina, at the shop called Slouch. And her Instagram is Quiet Hours. I, have, I did my left hand, don't look too close at that. And I wanted something to sort of match the pattern, but not exactly the vibe of this hand. I think Aaron knocked it out of a out of a park, one of them. <laughs> Pick any park you'd like. It is still healing, so it does look a little crusty in some spots, but I think Erin did an amazing job, and it was her first finger tattoos. And also, you know my neck tattoo, you know it? You know her? Erin did that, and it was her first neck tattoo. She just, the trust, the trust we have in each other is phenomenal. I'm not sure how much of life I'm going to document on this vlog. Like, I'm not sure if it's going to be one day or two days or a week, or maybe I even take you through the move. Did I just get oatmeal in my hair? One thing I do know, and I think we'll talk about this later, is that moving has been incredibly stressful. Everybody knows this. Everybody knows that moving is stressful. But the thing that freaks me out the most... Okay, good. The piece of, the piece of oatmeal that got stuck in my hair just fell in my eye. The most stressful part for me is just owning physical items. It gives me a lot of anxiety to own things. And the fact that I have 
10 plants. Oh. It makes me panic, a little. It makes me feel very bad, even though I love them. But then when I have to put them in my car with me and drive up to Illinois, suddenly, that's nine plants too many. How do we feel about these? I know they're very polarizing. Or maybe they're not. I hear people say that they're polarizing, but I've never met anybody that doesn't like these shoes. The Birkenstock clogs. I'm excited for winter uh, because I will I will be wearing these with like some, some kind of loose pants and like some nice thick socks and like a big chunky sweater. It's giving huga. I don't even remember how it's pronounced. I used to say the word all the time, huga. Man, I'm gonna come across like a real dimwit here. I should probably look it up. They're just very cozy, comfy. Anyways, let's get on with the day. We got a lot in the store today. You'll see. You'll see what I mean. I feel like this is such a lie. I feel very deceitful. Oh my God, the echo. I feel very deceitful whenever I film myself doing any sort of like work or anything in my home and there's complete silence because that simply never happens. There is always, always some sort of vlog or show or podcast or music or movie or something playing and but, but like when I'm filming, I don't know, it feels rude. It feels like I shouldn't be playing that while I'm like talking to you guys or standing around. Anyways, I'm just doing like goofy adult stuff on my computer. I really need to work today, but I'm going to work after, after I go to the place that I need to go to today. I'm being very vague. <laughs> Happy change days day. I saw someone say that in my comments because it was a Thursday and I thought that was really sweet. Happy change change days day. Um, hi. <laughs> oh, so. In case you can't tell, my hair is gone. Most of it, at least. I feel like I have different hair in every YouTube video, so I guess this is fitting. Uh, yeah, so... Uh -huh. I did, I did have, uh, an undercut underneath that last haircut that I had. Um, and I do want to grow my hair out eventually, but I want to grow it out gracefully. And with the undercut, that wasn't gonna happen. I was going to have hair that was down to, you know, my nipples and then hair that was in the back of my neck, like right here. And since I go to the gym so much and I do want to pull my hair up, that wouldn't have been, well, that wouldn't have been the moment. So, so now I look like a uh, <laughs> TikTok boy, boy band, Attack on Titan. Do you guys like it? I felt so rude in the, in the place where I was getting my hair cut. I showed her some different pictures and they were pictures of people who had longer bangs than me, but I wanted the bangs to match, you know, you know what I'm talking about? And unfortunately, at first, it was like, I did look like a mushroom and I know that that's very on brand for me and I should probably enjoy that, but it was, when I say it was not it, it was not it. And I was getting that like panic feeling in the chair. Like my, uh, I felt physically ill. Cause I was like, oh shit, now I have to say something. Cause, and I did, I said something. And I never like to say things. I know that I'm getting a haircut. I'm paying for a haircut. I should, I should like it, but oh my God. There's just something about correcting someone, a professional. It feels so...
So make sure to leave a big like if you like this haircut and if you don't also leave a like and comment and be nice. Be nice even if you don't like it. <laughs> I don't put a lot of water in my pre-workout because I feel like if I drink a lot of water before I go to the gym, I don't know, I can just feel it the whole time, you know? So I put like six ounces. Yum, yum. It's actually very good. So this one's the real kicker. I just work out at my apartment gym, so they don't have a barbell here. And in order to do hip thrusts that are heavy enough, and they still quite are not heavy enough, opposed to if I were to have access to a barbell and plates. So I have to stack dumbbells on top of each other on this pad which is not super safe and it looks really goofy This is uh, creatine, creatine monohydrate, weight, and it's supposed to make me big and strong, but um, it doesn't really dissolve in the water very well. Here, do you want to see it? This is her, and I just put a rounded teaspoon in some water, and I drink it. I drink it up. I drink up the grainy, sandy murky water and the last sip is always the worst because that's where all the granules settle at the bottom and so i just like squeeze my face like that and just choke it down but you know creatine the shower is running so i'm gonna go get in it and you're not coming with me so <laughs> Do you want to guess what's for breakfast? You're not gonna like the answer. It's gonna be dog food again, cause that's kinda all I have for breakfast in my home at the moment. So you don't need to see that again, and I'm just gonna eat it. All right, so today, it's just gonna be a lot of chore work and work work. I know I need to sketch three pages of Arden High. I know I need to bring some large trash bags out to the trash receptacle. I know I need to get a couple things from the store. Not even exciting things. I'm so bummed out about that. 
it's like blister warning, foot foot warning. Mm, maybe I shouldn't show my foot on camera, but my heel, I got some new Doc, Doc Martin shoes off of Depop, and they have been giving me the heel blisters. I know that you're supposed to break them in, but I'm a little concerned because it, I, I don't think it's a breaking in thing. I think it's a, I need to get some of those like gel heel inserts to put on the heel of the shoe. Gotta get gas. I gotta, I need to uh, like get food on the go while I'm out most likely because my food supply is dwindling. I have my dog food oatmeal that's always a given, but as far as things that I can like prepare in the fridge, I've already packed away all my pans and all of that. We eating finger food and going out, and that's kind of it lately. Yesterday I didn't film when I was doing work, like when I was sitting on my iPad and just doing work for a couple hours watching a TV show in the background. I'm watch I'm rewatching um, Hello My 20s, which is a K-drama about being in your 20s. And I know you're like, you don't speak Korean. How are you watching that in the background? It's like, I know the show, I've seen it before. So I kind of know vaguely what's going on. And it's weird how watching a show in English sometimes will distract me more from reading the script that I've been given, transcribing it into paneling and you know, like making a graphic novel page. Hearing English in the background while I'm trying to do that is extremely distracting, especially in those initial like phases where I'm having to organize where the speech bubbles are going and figuring out how paneling will work and how camera angles will, work, will be working and all that. So I don't really film when, what was I, what was the point? I started talking about English and Korean. The point is I was watching something while I was working and I was saying that I don't film myself while I work because does anybody want to see me just sitting there for hours? You know, I could speed up the footage and then it's just me it's like breathing rapidly. So I don't, I don't record that. That is going to be kind of a big part of my day again today. It's interesting how in these vlogs, like I am an illustrator, that's my job. I'm an illustrator and a tattoo artist and I don't really record any of that for these vlogs because I don't know, that's my job. And sometimes I feel like sharing that is not as interesting, even though that's probably why a lot of you are here, is because you know me first and foremost as an artist. I'm not like a, a fitness influencer. My point is that I tend to record myself doing other things other than my job. But if you would like to see more of my job and more of my work and have more videos on what I'm working on, I can absolutely do that. I just always feel a bit like Oh, who wants to see that? Like, it's it's not as interesting if I'm sitting in silence and working. But, you know, I do want to show you what I am working on so I can show you my screen sometimes. I should probably get better about doing that. So, basically, I'm gonna get going now and I don't know how much footage I will get from today. I'm going somewhere in the evening and staying in Asheville for a couple days don't think I'm gonna film there. Maybe, I don't know. I hope that the Goodwill employee that I just dropped my stuff off to enjoyed the scary Aphex twin song that came on. 
in the middle of me unloading my car. You know, because there's like, there's pleasant Aphex Twin, but if you're playing the wrong album, that's when the scary stuff comes on and then you start sweating. My mouth is very not symmetrical. Like it's extremely asymmetrical and I notice it every single time I record. And then I look back at the footage and I'm like, open, open the other side of your mouth. All right, I came home and put the inserts, the heel inserts into the shoes. And it's hard to tell without walking around, but I might have, I might have solved my problem. Like this feels slightly more comfortable. Again, I'm not gonna be able to tell until I'm like really like hoofing it up a hill. Yeah, they're in there. As if you can see them, but they're in there. I spent the last few hours working and then I decided to write a very, a very I had to write a letter to someone and it was a very like very intense emotional letter and I was listening to the Marcel Lachelle soundtrack and I did get snot on the letter now I'm folding laundry and folding laundry is a very loose way of putting it because I mean it's I don't really need to fold anything because I just kind of pick up the clothes off the like three outfits that I have on recycle from the floor because everything else is packed away and then I'm gonna leave for Asheville in a few hours if I can get the camera steady enough, it might be on my phone and not the nice camera, unfortunately, but I'll try to get some footage of the drive because it's really a very pleasant drive. It's one thing that I'll miss after I move is the drive from Greenville to Asheville. I got back from Asheville about uh, 10 a.m. today. It's Sunday now. And did not get a lot of sleep this weekend. I just went to the gym and I did push, push day. I showered and now I'm laying on the floor. And I'm gonna go to my parents' place. I haven't seen my mom and a wee bit and I'm about to leave for Illinois so I thought I would see them this floor is so nasty honestly like there's I'm looking at eye level with the ground and there's just particles of black dust and lint everywhere I should probably try to sneak in some work today and just you know do maybe a page or two. I am getting a little behind because of the moving stuff and saying goodbye to people and just trying to get my life in order. So I'm gonna have to pick up the pace once I'm in Illinois, which is fine. I, I'm gonna have roommates, which I don't currently have roommates. I live alone and these roommates are people I've lived with before. They're good friends of mine. So it's not like I have anything to worry about. Also. I think that having roommates will be, it will help me focus. Does that make sense? Like when you live alone, it can be very difficult to focus sometimes and it seems like it would be the opposite, but there's something comforting about knowing someone is in the other room. It almost holds you accountable. And so that's gonna be nice because being alone in an apartment for two years, starting in the pandemic, directly out of college. 
it was an experience. <laughs> I'm glad I had the experience. Nice. Now there's like specks of dust and random... Anyways, yeah, it's gonna be nice to have roommates when I move. I think it's gonna help me work and keep myself accountable. Because I'm kinda done with living alone, to be quite honest. Uh, thanks for sticking with me through this vlog. It, it's been a kind of non-consecutive, like editing this is gonna be a nightmare. So, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> oh, whoa.